Well, right now, what, what are the forces moving us towards population health? Clearly, uh, the whole national discussion about the triple aim and the work that Don Berwick did as CMS administrator has gotten most physicians and hospitals and others saying, gee, well, we really need to understand how to take and manage some of the risk for the care, not necessarily the insurance risk, but the health risk. And once you start getting down onto that movement, you start to realize that without appropriate information, without technology systems, without good medical record systems and interaction with outside vendors, with laboratories, with pharmacy and so on, you don't have enough complete information to make good decisions around that population and therefore you're not in a position to take risks for that population. So the incentives change as you move in that direction. Clearly, most individual physicians in their offices don't have uh, the setup, the care teams and the wherewithal and the capital for technology, nor the time because many of them are seeing way too many patients every day just to keep up with the demand and with the fact that with reimbursement getting cut, the doctors are seeing more and more patients in order to just keep up their income. So the consolidation that's occurring under the Accountable Care Act, uh, with the ACOs, uh, the potential of moving the duels into managed care, and the fact that hospitals are buying physician practices, that health plans like uh, United Optum, uh, Humana with Concentra, um, and uh, Anthem with Caremore, they're all moving into buying physicians. There's this consolidation phase going on. Uh, we at Healthcare Partners, uh, who recently merged with DeVita, uh, believe that a physician-led or a clinically-led, cl clinically-centric uh, way to align physicians around population health is a good alternative and a better alternative, which are the, the founding uh, principles of why we did what we did. That's perfect. That's Good. fantastic. Thank you. Thanks.